Okay, here's some here's some pretty nice combinatoric uh, probability problems, as it turns out. Um, let's take a look. The deck of a card game is made up of 108 cards. 25 red, 25 yellow, 25 blue, 25 green, and 8 wild cards. Each player is dealt seven cards. Find the probability that a hand contains exactly two wild cards. Now, the author in the setup for this problem in the instructions partitioned this set of 108 cards into four groups. But this problem doesn't partition, excuse me, five groups. But this problem, problem A, really is only talking about two partitions. We have 108 cards that can be classified either wild or not wild. Now a little setup here. Most of the card games that I know of, maybe perhaps all of the card games I know of where you're dealt out cards and you have a hand of cards. If I'm dealt, and it's from a standard 52 card deck, if I'm dealt the seven of clubs and ten of diamonds, that's no different than if I'm dealt the ten of diamonds and seven of clubs. Order typically does not matter, as appears to be the case in this problem. So I am looking at choosing two of the wild cards for my hand, which means I have to also have five non-wild cards to make up my seven card hand. But I'm choosing two out of eight wilds and five out of 100 non-wilds, order not mattering. So that is, let's choose some wilds, eight to choose from. I need two, order doesn't matter, combination. And I need to choose some non-wilds. Of the 100, I need to choose five to complete my hand of seven. As is the case with most probability problems, the denominator is generally easier to find. In the, the denominator, I don't have the luxury of choosing from the wilds and from the non-wilds. I just get to choose from the whole deck, the deck containing 108 cards, I need seven. We'll leave the result of that up to your calculator. Okay, then a hand contains two wilds, two reds, three blues. That's the full hand, seven cards. I need to select two from the wilds, a group of two from eight, and I need to select two from the reds, choosing two out of 25, and I need to choose three of the blues out of 25, order not mattering. The number of hands possible still remains C108, seven. Now, this is what I would call classic combinatoric probability structure. Let's take a look back at A. Here I have eight and 100 cards I'm selecting from. So overall, I'm selecting from 108 different cards. And I, how many do I select? I select two and five. I select seven cards. Let's take a look at B. In B, I'm selecting two of these, two of these, three of these for seven total. But unlike problem A, this has 8, 25, 25, and 108. It doesn't, it doesn't add up to the 108, but we could suggest that there is a missing combination 50, 0 here. 50, of course, being our non-red, non-blue, non-wild cards, or our yellow and greens, which we're selecting none of. And now we see that our 8 and 25 and 25 and 50 does in fact add up to our 108. That's what I would be referring to when I say classic combinatoric probability structure.